The Trans-Alaska oil pipeline initially flowed in 1977. Watch this now. I'm not going to get into this subject much for lack of time. The Trans-Alaska oil pipeline initially flowed in 1977, 1.7 million barrels of oil. The field had at that time 1,500 pounds of natural artesian pressure. The ecologists said that year the Trans-Alaska oil pipeline and Prudhoe Bay oil field will be depleted in 20 years' time. Uh-uh. 30 years later. The field still has 1,500 pounds of natural artesian pressure. They're flowing 1.4 million barrels of oil in that pipeline today. The field has replenished itself. There is no such thing as an energy crisis. There is no such thing as a lack of crude oil. And the Russians proved why when they drilled their deep coal of three wells to 42,000 feet and finished up the last one last year and found in the heart of the earth massive amounts of oil such as man never dreamed of. And the fields of the earth in many areas are replenishing themselves just as they're doing at Prudhoe Bay. The only lack that we have today is not a lack of oil, it's a lack of honesty in Washington, D.C. <laughs> there isn't enough natural gas on the north slope of Alaska to supply the entire, entire United States of America for over one, over 200 years. If every other natural gas well in the nation were cut off tomorrow morning, one billion cubic feet of natural gas are being pumped back into the ground at Prudhoe Bay, Alaska every day by using 47 747 type jet aircraft engines because the government of this United States will not allow another pipeline to be built down the same corridor as the Trans-Alaska oil pipeline, not disturbing the ecology in any manner and supplying for America cheap natural gas for the generation of electricity and the heating of your homes. It's an atrocity that should cause such an uprising amongst the American people that there would be an impeachment from our president down. <laughs> Lindsay, is there a connection between this created shortage and the price of gold and the value? You see, if we were allowed to have the oil from the North Slope of Alaska to come to American refineries, the price of gasoline at the gas pump could plummet as much as a dollar and a half a gallon. But our president cannot allow it. And they will never open up Anwar. Why won't they? Because if they allowed the oil from our own soil to come to American refineries, the other oil producing countries of the world that haven't jumped ship yet would not be obligated to buy our national securities, our T-bills and our securities, and the dollar would collapse within a month's time. And our president knows it. But yet, on the other hand, if other nations continue to jump ship and don't use the American dollar, and the New York bankers no longer have the control of the oil of the world through the control of the American dollar, the dollar will collapse anyway. Just a matter of time. It's going to happen one way or the other. Had you rather have back the great American dream and some honesty in Washington, D.C., and let the dollar collapse if necessary? and then start all over again, I think it's time to kill the spider, don't you? <laughs> but we, but it's, we, giving the issues is one thing, but, and, and maybe, uh, you know, making sure our families are together, that we are spiritually ready for this, but what about things like food. If the dollar goes, now we've got problems with the heartland, with the farming communities, that's a big issue. We're, we're losing land at an alarming rate. How are we going to fight that? You must see my DVD that's over an hour long entitled Torn from the Land. A Hollywood studio actually went throughout America and DVD'd this. A group of farmers in southeast Colorado and northern Texas where 40% of our food supply is grown had me down to speak to them just recently and they said, Chaplain Williams, we invited you down here because we want to know the, where the price of diesel fuel is going. I said, why? They said, anything past $3 a gallon, we cannot afford to plant our crops. We will lose money next year, anything past $3 a gallon, where it's going. 
I said it's going to four and five dollars a gallon. One farmer stood up that farms thousands of acres, and he said, "I just sold out." Another farmer said, "I quit." I mean, we are in trouble as far as the food supply. And these farmers said to me, Chaplain Williams, please go back to every city in America, every place you can. Tell people in the city they must look at your DVD torn from the land because we will have shortages on the grocery store shelves within a year and a half. Lindsay, I could just see a farmer going uh, belly up and the farm being sold to a farmer in China or something. You know, and it's true, we've given our ports away, all the ports all around the United States, and in, I was watching your conference from Mexico, and I heard that a foreign country actually bought Grand Central Station. Is that true? That's correct. Dubai. When we wouldn't give them our ports deal, they bought Grand Central Station, and I think something like seven or eight office, high-rise office buildings downtown New York, they don't want our paper any longer. The world is sick of the American dollar and the nine trillion dollar national debt. China has even established what they call SAFE, S-A-F-E. That stands for State Administration of Foreign Exchange in order to dump the American dollars. And then it did it, did it on March the 15th of 07. Oh my goodness, what has happened to the American dollar is an atrocity. So now another thing you said on that DVD was that the farms are actually being bought out, that these farmers are, are you know, giving up their hands. Are they going to actually grow anything on this land, or what's happening with it? Well, some of the farmers said to me, they said, we've had contacts from real estate companies that say, well, I have a client who'd like to buy your farm. Don't ask for a price. Don't try to bargain. And I said, who's buying those farms? They said, people in China, Southeast Asia, uh, Japan. And what are they going to do with them? They said they're just going to leave them lay idle. Uh, what, folks, I beg of you, please wake up while we still have time. 